My name is Steve Adamson, I'm a civil engineer and I'm employed by PD Port here on Teesside. We stood on the newly constructed number one key, a structure that's taken civil engineers almost five years to build. The main drivers for the reconstruction of number one key was the fact that the original structure built and commissioned in the 1950s had come to the end of its design life. Driven by development, there was a need to deepen the water at Teesside. This would give the ability for the port to take larger vessels. To do this, we needed to understand the existing structure. Civil engineers played a large part in that. The key was fitted with a series of strain gauges, which gave us the ability to monitor how the key performed under load. From that, engineers were involved to design and define the requirements for a new key. The new key was to be built on top of the old key's footprint. That in itself is a challenge. The old key, with its initial construction of post-tensioning, was an unpredictable structure. This meant that it needed to be handled and demolished, deconstructed with care. Works commenced in 2014 at the far end of the key as we see here. One of the biggest challenges for civil engineers on this project was working in the coastal environment. The coastal environment provides unpredictable ground conditions and the obvious working over water. This needed to be taken into account with the design and buildability of the new key. Another challenge for civil engineers on this project was how to maintain ongoing port operations during the construction of the new key. Construction of the new key was like a chain and the initial activities in the chain was to pile through the existing deck of the key, followed by controlled demolition. Controlled demolition was done with long-reach excavators and large hydraulic plant. Once removed, the new key could take shape. The new key was constructed by placing precast units on top of the new piles. Once established, new concrete was poured to create the new key deck as we see it now. Once that was complete, new key furniture, rails, bollards were, were installed to provide the operational key. Port operations were maintained throughout the construction of the works by close liaison and management between the construction site and the operational port staff. This enabled us to understand what each party was doing at any one point in time. Works were complete in November of 2017. This ended a 43 month construction period. The end product that was delivered through the project has given us a fantastic new piece of infrastructure, capable of withstanding loads far in excess of its predecessor. With this new structure, civil engineers have achieved their goal in assisting the port in developing a deeper berth for the region. This has driven growth and new clients and custom to Teesport. As I am from this area, I'm proud that I've been able to contribute to its redevelopment with the construction of this new structure. And anybody thinking of a career in civil engineering will be making a very good choice.